Okay, so there's three ways to make reusable toilet paper. Now, what I try to do is I try to um, cut my square about six to eight inches wide and um, use two pieces, most people do anyways. And I fold them, if I wanna, serging is my preferred method. And I have a serger, most people might not have one of these, but they're really nice if you're gonna be making these. So as you can see, I fold them wrong sides together. The side that you want on the inside is on the inside. And with my serger, you gotta be very careful because these do cut at the same time they sew. surgery can make that really really quick okay so this is what it looks like when it's finished you I mean you can do you can make the edges look different if you want to by adjusting your settings but most people do their edges like this and it stays together and you don't have any issues um, some people do tuck their um, their end thread in and sew it in place I don't and I have not had a lot of issues with it unraveling um, Considering the purpose, I feel like it works fine and I can always fix it. Okay, so your second method is to do it the same exact way, except for use a zigzag stitch. In this case, I'm going to use my sewing machine. Okay. And I'm going to set a zigzag. Now the zigzag can help keep your fabric from fraying. Get it kind of this side. Okay, so this is really sloppy, but that is another option you have. I don't really find this super effective, personally. Um, oh, the other way people do it, well, they'll sometimes sew a straight stitch all around, leaving a little edge, and then cut it with pinking shears. Those are the shears that have kind of like a, a zigzag. I don't think that works. Um, I'm going to redo this with my serger, actually, because... I don't love this. I don't think it'll hold together very well. It will work temporarily though. So there is that. Your other option is to sew it regularly. And this is what I would do if you don't have a serger. Let's see here. Okay, so if you don't have a serger, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna turn your square. Some people will cut two separate squares. I just cut it on the fold um, just cause I want it one less one less section to sew so if you do that you turn it right sides together and you're gonna sew all the way around using a straight stitch leaving yourself a spot to turn in top stitch As you can see, there's a little spot I haven't finished off. I'm gonna pull, pull this off. You can clip the edges if you want. It just makes it a little, makes the edges a little pointier, which is, that's what you're going for. Let's go for it. I'm trying to do this very quick between, my, my toddler's supposed to be napping right now, jeez. 
it's not going well. So you flip it right sides out. And I am not gonna be able to show you this because again, I'm working, um, my toddler just woke up apparently. So I am going to show you what, I, tell you what I would do. I would press this, would iron this down to make it look nicer. Again, it's, it's reusable toilet paper. It's not a big deal if you don't do that, but, and then I turn this under to close off the hole. And then I'm just gonna sew a straight stitch all the way around again. And again, I would, I would iron this first. Oh, whoops. my tensions off on this I think I probably actually I don't think it's the tension I think something's uh, off on my machine I have to change the needle but so it's not going to be excuse the stitching like this it's not going to stick but um this is pretty much what it would look like when you're finished this will hold really nicely and look really nice um so it's definitely a good option if you only have a sewing machine and not a serger but again I always prefer the serge version and here is a look Okay, here's a look at your two options. There you go. And, uh, or your, your three options if you count this. This is awful. <laughs> Here you go. I hope that helps. Thanks so much. I've got more information about using cloth toilet paper on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.